Okay, hello guys, it's me Gaming Star here, and today I am back with another episode of Pikmin 2. Last time we have started off the game, and this time we're gonna go ahead and go to the Awakening Wood. God, okay, sorry. Alright, we're gonna go to the Awakening Wood, the new area that we just discovered. And we're gonna come back to the Valor Post much later, but right now we're gonna save it off the way. Because we need other types of Pikmin in order to reach other areas, so that's why. Okay, guys. <laughs> okay, so we have the new area. Basically, this actually might be familiar to you if you play the first game. Some areas actually are the same areas in the first game. No, seriously, but they just have different names. Literally the same areas from the first game. It's pretty interesting how the continuity works. Good morning, I should place you to know that my pick is safely in my hole. Yeah, it's just I know how to use it. Okay, so... I'll get it later, I guess. Let's get the purples. We get the fucking purples because purples are good. Alright, split up in groups. Okay, Louis, take the purples. And Olimar, take the reds. Alright, take the reds, Olimar. God damn it! I, I just did that! Oh my god. Look, man, I just did it, okay? Let me live my life. Let me live my life! I don't need your tutorials right now. <gasps> ah, okay. I like getting rid of these guys first, because the, you know, the, the, the sheer grubs. The females don't harm, but the males do harm, and the, the males are definitely the scariest ones. That's what I'm really interested. Sheer grubs, isn't definitely. And also, you see this? Get these! Seriously, no, get them. Seriously, you'll see why I want you to get. I, I want to get these. Definitely recommend getting these. These are berries, actually. And if you get enough of these, you can actually make a potion, which will actually do do um increase of um will actually do some good stuff. Stuff. You know, very interesting stuff to say the least. So uh, we'll see. Look at how good the purples are, man. Purples are so good. Those are the best. Oh, fuck. See that one? Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and kill this, actually. I'm scared. You see that berry? Trust me on it when I say, get it. This is a red berry. Then this is a purple one, too. There's two different types. Astani, this is a red berry that contains ultra spicy essence. This will be important for later. I don't know value, but the search research is free. So. Basically, I have to bring another one, and then he'll eventually make it into a potion, which, of course, will be a very good help. And trust me on it when I say it'll be very good help, because it actually is. So trust me on it. It really is good help. Genuinely, it is. So definitely grab those while you're here. Like, no, seriously, grab them while you're here. And you can actually stun enemies and do that, if you um, do it properly. That corpse for me. Thanks. Okay, grab these for me. Grab, this for me. grab that corpse if you don't mind. Thank you very much. There you go. You can do that for me. Oh, yeah, and there they are again. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and do that. Right. Yeah, we got the specimen. Captain Olimar, my research on the rare berries has covered a yield and powerful potion. Behold, the ultra spice, spicy spray. There's also the other spray as well. There's two different types, like I said. So we'll actually use it later, but right now we're not going to use it. So basically it takes 10 berries to make one. You can also find jellies that allow to make more. So you see that... Takes ten berries to make one. We're just gonna stay in base for a while. Louis. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. All right. I'm gonna check here. Okay. okay. I'm gonna go ahead and check here because. Yep. She grabs. Fucking knew it. I'm gonna go ahead and just try to reproduce as much Pikmin as possible right now, so... 
I'm gonna avoid trying to get too many close enemies. The, the purples are just chilling there, literally. Like, 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 yeah. Okay. So we got a strawberry, basically. Just a strawberry. And you know what his name? The Sunseed Berry. Still a berry to life. Get that one for me. You see cherry blossoms? Honestly, they're pretty freaking beautiful. I know what. Oh, yeah, by the way, you actually get nectar out of them. And pellets. You definitely use them, those some um, beetles to your advantage. Definitely. Let me check here for a moment. So, yeah, nothing here yet, really. No, I don't know. Oh, come on, you're seriously starting to pluck now? Fine. Do it. I don't even care. Yay, flowers! God, finally, got the flowers. That's what I want. Yes, I know. Shut up. <laughs> The purples actually have a unique flower, which is actually, um, different color instead. If you want to know about that, there we go. You always have to fucking pluck it out. Nice. Let's see the berries grow back, so yeah, definitely use this advantage as well. Alright. Break down this wall for me. You don't mind. Thank you very much. Okay, there you go. So we're gonna go ahead and break down the wall for me. 69. Nice. <laughs> Beautiful 69 Pikmin. That's a nice number, ain't it? You see this new type of enemy. Well, you know what this type is. These enemies are actually interesting because they actually stop Pikmin. So what you can do is do that, and there you go. One in an instant. Pretty basic, isn't it? Eight Pikmin. You see that chapstick? Ooh, you know that chapstick brand? <laughs> you see that enemy? That's actually a brand new type of enemy if we'll get into. I'm gonna go and crush this paper bag first. The Pikmin actually, the purple Pikmin actually helped increase the bag. Um, the amount of bag. Um, so sometimes you actually need more Pikmin. Let me go ahead and do that. Hang on, let me do it again. Paper bag is not gonna work on any, any, any of us, I guess. Alright. Mm -hmm. 
151. Yeah, I don't think we have enough, to be honest, to uh, crush this down. You gotta be this one. Come on, purples. We need 200, I don't think that's gonna work. Maybe, here's what we can do. Okay, so you see that there's gonna be this enemy. You see that there's an eye. Oh no, I see that eye. Well, go ahead and get close. Right, let's go ahead and use the purples. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna toss a purple into it, at least, a purple. Yeah, we're gonna toss a purple. The purples will sting it, so you use it to your advantage. Well, these guys, basically what they will do is, these guys are assholes. So, when he does that, go ahead and just attack. Attack, attack, attack. And there you go. And that's that. So I'm gonna go ahead and carry this back. Carry that back to base if you don't mind. Thank you very much. So this would be another one here. See how there's this unique wall? Well, that unique wall we're actually gonna get into later. Right now, I'm gonna have Olimar go. Actually, I'm gonna have Olimar go back to base. Alright, here's what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna have Louis stay here while well, Olimar's actually gonna go back to base and pluck the Pikmin. So he's not just gonna take them and pluck them. So that's what he's gonna do. Okay, so he's gonna do that. Whew! Because he's already half day already, so. Do that for me. A new hole here. Okay, here we go. We have a new hole. Nice. So we have a uh, beast unknown powers. A large pick will be reassuring. Keep resisting Pikmin. Basically reds. So you need a whole bunch of reds for this. All right. 64 out of 89. No, okay. Hang on. It's almost the sunset, so let's go ahead and get there actually quickly. All right, let's go. I just wanted to go ahead and kind of focus most of the day on, on kind of getting the Pikmin, kind of getting enough um, reds, so that's why. That's what I kind of focus on. So, okay, let's go. Let's get in. 89 of 89, let's go! Let's go in. This is Hole of Beasts. This is the first major real, this is the first real, real um, dungeon, I'd say. This is the first real one. The Cave of Emergence, which is the tutorial, this is the first real one. So let's get to it. So there's actually real monsters here that actually will do a lot of harm. So be really careful here and be um, pretty much strategized. So I definitely recommend kind of like go ahead and look around first as one of the captains and then kill off the little enemies, like, you know, the, sh the sheer grips. I definitely recommend getting the sheer grips first because man, they're assholes. I ain't gonna lie, especially the, especially the males, they're assholes. The males are indefinite assholes and get rid of them first. No, seriously, get rid of them out the males. Because males do, do harm, but the females don't do anything, the males that do something, so get rid of the males. Because they actually do kill Pikmin, so get rid of the males. They're indefinite assholes. Seriously. And that happened. <laughs> I got I got hit. Okay. That was fun. If one of the captains goes down, you actually only have one left, so be really careful with um how much damage one captain takes. So definitely have one captain like do some of the like you know, kind of like um, searching around the area and see like what to do strategy, and then the other one definitely do like with the pick one. So definitely do that strategy. Definitely works. I'm gonna go ahead and look around for sheer grubs so I can kill them off because man, sheer grubs are assholes, especially the males. So that's why I'm gonna go and get rid of them. Okay, let me check here. Knew it. Two females. So females don't do anything at all. Okay, we're good. So I killed off most of them. I'm happy about that. Alright, right, guys.
Okay, here we go. So we got... You know what this is. <laughs> hey, it's a D-pad. Stone of glory. Hell yeah. <laughs> now it's the only treasure here. Okay, let's keep going downwards. I recommend having at least like 80, 89 Pikmin or something in 90, so. Okay. Nope, so level two. Alright, let's have Louie do the, uh, the, um, the survey of the area. The smaller beasts, the smaller enemies, the more annoying enemies. Okay, so this is a rest area. These are unique. Okay, so rest areas. Basically what they do is... They're usually, they usually appear like once, like what, every like few floors? Usually like, we, like um, floors with a whole bunch of enemies. Definitely use these to your advantage, seriously. So, okay, so we're gonna take a few reds with us, and I mean all of them. <laughs> all reds, so. There you go. Goody. So, candy pop buds here. There's no treasure here. So that means it's pretty much just a rest area. There's no treasure, it's just a rest area. Seriously, rest areas are the best. Okay, so we have more purples now, which is good. So you see that there's basically no treasure here. It's mostly just, um, just for resting. Right, let's keep going. You'll see actually a few of those throughout throughout the game, so you'll see a few of those. Definitely use them. Whole of Beast level three. Okay, let's see. All right, survey time. Okay, survey time. So we now have the reds out. Okay, so Olimar, do the survey. Take the reds. Sixty-nine. Nice. Okay, and then Louie, take the purples. So, all right. So get rid of these. Seriously, get rid of these. Only the reds can get rid of these. Cause they're being to fire, so they can do that. We are not yet, so. Not yet, anyway. Make sure the reds do all of the dirty work when it comes to getting the fire and stuff. And that treasure here. Gonna... That treasure while we're here. We have a floppy disk over there, eh? what this is. Probably know what this is. Name Sturf Monolith. <laughs> I love the name. Some of these names are actually kind of creative. I ain't gonna lie. So I like the names of some of them. Pretty funny though. Okay, so we have another one. And we have floppy disk. Right, let's get the floppy disk. 15 Pikmin are needed. The entire squad. There we go. I think we're good, actually. I think we can get through here, I'm pretty sure. The only real hazard there was just, uh... Okay. Let's just wait until they take the floppy disk back. Basically, that floppy disk actually reference to the, um, the Super Famicom, or the Famicons, um... Because Famicom originally had these floppy disks, and, like, basically, that's where you get the games. From. This is floppy disk. So you see that this is like one of the games that they come, come in from. Cosmic Archive. So basically you would take a floppy disk and that's basically how the games were kind of in back in back in the day in Japan in the Famicom. So, so cartridges is, is a floppy disk. Which is pretty interesting actually. I find it really fascinating. Because some of Nintendo's history is actually here too. Even from the earliest um, parts of Nintendo's history, like for example, when they were a card company and toy company, they used to actually used to be that. You know, they used to be a, a toy company before before big even existed, they used to be a toy company and a card company playing card <laughs> basically they would do playing cards so that's kind of a thing okay all them okay louie take the reds take the purples all of mine all right actually while we're here i'm gonna be these eggs be careful sometimes they might contain an enemy be really careful 
Seriously, sometimes they might actually contain it, and that means to be really careful about them. Sometimes they're, that means they just pop out of the fucking ceiling, and, it's, and it scares the hell out of Oh, God, spiders! Oh, yeah, by the way. You know how you're racking the So definitely look at these holes first. Definitely be careful when you're, you know. Be careful. I definitely suggest that you have at least one captain, like, do, do the search of the holes, and then the other one, like, just kind of, pick one. So I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of these eggs. As the captain, because I'm worried that... Okay, so good. They all have nectar. Oh no! Oh, okay. 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 So give me the fire for me, if you don't mind. Over here, here's what we can do. Nice. Okay. Only the purples can get rid of these, so I'm just gonna say it right now. I'm gonna give her the fire first. Okay, Olimar, take some dead purples with you. <laughs> okay, so, you see that there's actually this here. <laughs> yeah, there's also enemies that have treasure, so definitely use that as well. Okay, go ahead and hear those for me. Thank you very much. And while we're at it, actually. So you see this playing card? That playing card is actually a reference to Nintendo's original history, which when they were a playing card company. So, it's actually a lot of Nintendo history references, you know, to their old history. And then this is pretty obvious if you if you know a lot about video game history as a whole. The Game & Watch. Dream Ar Architect. So basically, this is the uh, Game & Watch, which was basically the first handheld- Basically the first handheld console to ever exist. Be before the Game Boy, that was basically the first handheld console. So, yeah, that was basically the first handheld console. Basically. Um, that was an oldie. So that's an oldie, man. That's a, that's a duck and oldie. So basically, that is just a did reference to the fact that, um, you know, that they were playing card company. You see, you see the back of the card as well. So here we go. That's the front. That's the card. It's pretty fascinating, actually. Just learning, of, just seeing items like this. So here we go. Here's the playing card. Name: Lucky Waffer. <laughs> Lucky Waffer. Okay. So that's all the treasure in this area. Let's go ahead and keep going down. So we, maybe we can actually complete the sub area. It's actually, it gets longer and longer though. So. Oh boy, you're gonna get to one of my favorite enemies, <laughs> but I'm being sarcastic with a few of them. Uh, a few of them are literal hell holes, and I'm just gonna say it right now. Quite literally. Right, this is the final floor. Oh, I just realized. Okay, though, so this is Emperor's Bull Blast. <laughs> yeah, that's the first boss. First real boss. Okay, Emperor's Bull Blast. You'll fight her twice, actually. So, here we go. You see, you know what that is? Do you even know? Actually, corpse. It's a corpse. Okay. So, anyway, here's what I would recommend. Alright, so I recommend having at least one captain over here. At least. Because remember, basically, we're gonna have. Be really careful with this. So, definitely have. Because she squished the hell out of this Pikmin, so let's be really careful. So, I recommend having, like, the. Like, a, like a few. Like, a small group. So, so she doesn't squash them. I recommend having purples, especially. So purples are definitely gonna be really useful here. So, I recommend having purples. Go ahead and go to, like, what? Right here. Near the exit. Don't be at. Don't. Don't b press the exit, man, that would be a bad idea. So don't do that. Seriously, don't do that. Be at least close to the exit. Because I've read we can get. And then Olimar would have the red and do the rest of the attacking in the back. Or, you can have this. So here we go. So here's what I would do. Just initiate the fight. Okay, so this is Empress Bull Black. So here's what she would do. She would actually squish. The pigments. So I have one captain on, on the other side and have the other right here. So definitely use that to your advantage. There will also be rocks that drop down as well. You see that she has a, a little anus. Go to the back side. Definitely makes more sense ending at her back side. See, look at how much damage that does to the purples. The purples. <gasps> no! Oh my god! Oh my god! Not 
what I planned. Oh my god. Oh yeah. Yeah, be careful with that, like I said. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. I literally lost all my purples. <laughs> oh my god. I <laughs> can't. So you see that now she's back to normal position. Let's get back to it. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> oh yeah, you're killing me here, babe. Okay, you know what I'm gonna do? You know what I'm gonna do? Okay, so you're gonna aim. Let's go, 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 go. Careful here. Ah! Alright, so aim at the front, actually. Let's go to aim at the front. It doesn't really matter which way you aim, as long as, as, long as it does more damage. However, no, the second time you actually fight her, I, you have to have at least one cap down the butt, on the butt, on the backside, and the other. Basically, on her ass. And <laughs> they're just like. So when she does that, go ahead and call the Pikmin and she will toss him to the side and just try to squish him. So be really careful with that. Be really, really, really careful. And she sees she'll actually recover health as well. So be careful when she does that, because she will then roll over. Man, that was a horrible stretch! <laughs> and she will recover health, as you notice, slowly but surely. The only boulders that fall down at times. Oh my god. <laughs> oh god. Just pretend you never saw that at all happen. Just please pretend you never saw that. That was literally the worst thing. To that. that was literally a mistake on my part, so please just. Do you see she's almost down? She's down, I'm scared. So she's almost dead, which is awesome. She's almost down, she's almost down. There you go. That is Emperor's Full Blast. Just look at this. Just please. Please take, please take care of look. And that's the Love Tester. It's actually a Nintendo, actually a Nintendo toy back in the day. Yeah, I'm actually gonna explain a little bit of that. So, the love tester. Let me explain a little bit of what I know from it. How bizarre, this device is emanating black light. It must have been rejected by that creature. What an absolutely repulsive life form. Don't have to take it out. I'm so, so basically, and that's the corpse. <laughs> no, seriously, that's the actual corpse of the Empress Bull Blast. I'm not even joking. It's just I don't even know, honestly. Okay, so, I'm gonna have to keep it and grab this. And this is the love tester. Okay, the love tester is basically, basically what it was is, from what they suggest, it was a toy made back, um, back like, what, in the 60s, I think it was? Like, in the 60s around that time? Basically, this pick, this, um, this device, basically what it do is, like, you have, like, you know, like, kind of, like, right, you know, you, like, you have a couple, right? And you put, like, the finger test, you know, kind of, like, the finger test, like, like you know, put it on the fingertips, like, something around the lines. And, like, it would be, like, a meter, like, say, oh, like, oh, do you love me, or does she love me, or does she love me not, kind of thing. Prototype detector. So, basically, that's kind of what it was. It was kind of like a love tester, quite literally. It's supposed to be, like, um, for, basically, kind of, you guys should look it up yourself, though. It's a pretty interesting uh, device that Nintendo made back in the day. Nintendo actually made that. <laughs> yeah. It was basically an adult toy. Basically just adult toy, kind of. It was basically considered an adult toy, but not really. So it kind of is, but not really at the same time. So, yeah, it was made for adults, though, in mind. Because, you know, love, love, lovey belly, a sex. <laughs> so you see that meter? That's new. So let's add it to that. But the love detect, the love tester. Love detector. <laughs> love tester. So, there you go. That's basically a little history of it. But if you guys want to go ahead and go for yourself, there's a lot of references in this game about, about Nintendo's history. Especially with certain products. Yay, no Pikmin loss. And please don't pretend about that incident that happened before. <laughs> that was an accident. <laughs> got the, basically, all of this entire level was basically all based on Nintendo history. Prototype Detector, Cosmic Archive, Locky Waffer, Strife Monolith, Stone of Glory, and Dream Architect. Those are all references to actual Nintendo products back in the day. Before the video game... Both in the early and before video game history. So, there you go. Back in the awakening, would we... 20% of the dead recovered! Ayy! Nice. So we got 20% of the dead recovered, which is nice. Maybe we could actually even do another one. Let me check. Okay, so... We have the whole of... Beast. I don't know if 
we can, but maybe we could. Maybe we could try. Okay, let's go ahead and check. Actually, maybe we could even do it early to earlier. Let's check. See, guys, you see that this now starting to react. So definitely use this to your advantage while you're here. I'm not even kidding. Okay, so we're gonna get to a new type of pick. Fucking sun here. Let's see if I can actually do it. And there you go. Nice. Okay, so we have. Uh. Okay, so let's go down here. We have a new hole. All right, let's go down here first, though. Astounding! My metal detectors are reacting violently. What could be down below? If you have trouble below, press plus to contact me on the radar screen. Iron Paw will drop and loot and carry them. Make the room to carry you. Louie and the Pikmin to safety. So we have the white gar the white flower garden. Here we have a new- t we're gonna have a new type of Pikmin introduction. Already. So the second new type, the whites. Purples and whites. This is actually a really interesting area. I like this one. It's pretty nice. So, we have a new interesting kind of like theme to it. Too. Ah! That actually scared me! God! Freaking cheer grubs! Mother- Why is there a picnic with me? Okay, that was weird. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna- You mother- <laughs> I hate- I hate males. I hate the males. Sounds so weird out of context, but I hate the male cheer grubs. I really do. Just take this Don't take this out of context. Please just really don't. That actually scared me, I'm gonna lie. Okay. So anyway, I'm actually trying to be really careful with the shear grips, so that's why. I'm getting rid of the shear grips first. Because I don't want them to fucking surprise me and kill my pick them while they're carrying the treasure. Because you know how that works. I hate it when that happens. So I'm gonna just kind of there. Get rid of the nails and definitely. Any fucking surprises? Please, no more fucking surprises. That's what I'm This is not a fucking surprise. I'm gonna pissed. I actually am gonna be really, really mad if it's not a surprise, man. I genuinely am. Okay, there you go. So we got rid of all of them. That's good. Whew. Nice. Glad. Okay, now we're ready to rumble. Oh my. Okay, we are ready. Carry the corpses of the sheer grubs back, please. Just carry them back. Because, you know, I want them to suffer for all eternity. Okay, and guess what this is? Kiwi shoe polish. <laughs> it's just shoe polish. Okay, so let's go shoe polish. Well, here goes the Kiwi brand. A. Another take it out of There we go. I, I love all the ad the the. Clear, clear product placement. It's just amazing. I love all the product placement. God, so much product placement in this game. It's just amazing. It's the only treasure in this area. So. Shoe polish. Part of in. Alien billboard. <laughs> see, I see that when you see that the basically it will go down. Like the color will it like. See if it's like the rate, like the detector. So definitely keep in mind about the detector. If it's colorful, then that means there's treasure. But if it's not, if it's dull, then that means there's none. Keep that in mind. Definitely use that to your advantage. Okay, here we are. Oh boy! Fiery blowhog. How do I miss you? Yeah, purples. Purples gonna be fucking easy to kill. They, they're known to toss. I do not want them to toss my Pikmin around. And seriously, that would not be great. It's in the abyss down there, and I didn't they actually they actually make them fall from the fucking abyss. And I'm not even getting. That's why I'm using the purples because the purples will sting the enemy, and it's just so much easier with the how to use the reds because the reds will be tossed, and I'm worried. That's why. There we go. Okay. All right. So go ahead and carry this for me. We have another um soda lid. Carry the corpses for me, if you don't mind. That'd be nice. Thanks. Carry the corpses in my fallen bedroom. <laughs> so you see this giant heart, basically. Mm. 
no surprise. Good. Whoa, what? <laughs> What's the top one Pikmin? Dr. Pepper, a Drought Ender. <laughs> Drought Ender, because it ends your race. That was a weird thing with the purple Pikmin though. So we have a heart shaped like crystal. I don't think I'll ask enough for some reason. Petrified heart. So that's all the treasure in this area. Let's go ahead and keep going. All right, first let me let's go ahead and make sure to carry the corpse back. Corpses of the day. That's why. All right, we're good. Let's go ahead and keep going. Yep. Let's keep a going. White Flower Garden, sub level three. All right, I think this is where we get the whites. I think. Let's see. I'm heavily sure of it. Let's check. Come on, guys. Let's keep going. Yep. Here we are. Okay, so I'm gonna have the reds be sacrifices. The reds are gonna be our sacrifice. Guys, in the home's reds are a sacrifice here. Okay, reds sacrifice you two to the white flower gods. <laughs> Let's do it. So I have a white candy pop bud this time around. How can a flower so deep on the ground bloom so robustly? How mysterious. This place is conspiracy warm. Could it act as a kind of house forge? What an interesting development. The picnic is that they want to largely toss a flower. Okay, let's go ahead and kind of toss them in. As nice we can toss in. There we go. So here's something interesting you may see. You think, oh, there's no treasure here. Well, guess what? There's a special ability, two special abilities that the whites have. This is the whites. Oh, I had a little poison! Incredible! White Pikmin! It is tiny, but looks distinctly swift. Sides are unseemly red. Basically, it's albino. Basically, albino, if you want to know. This type of Pikmin was not mentioned in your North Hallmark. Must be entirely new type. Our date record is type of blank page, since a certain captain never documented <laughs> You must experiment and make detailed observations for the benefit of future generations. <laughs> future generations. Okay. So we're gonna go ahead and pluck them. So the white Pikmin, they have an interesting ability. They actually detect treasure underground and they also are immune to poison. So that's something really good about the whites. So seriously, the whites are definitely really, really good. I'm not even kidding when I say the whites are really good. So you think, oh, there's no treasure here. Well, guess what there actually is. It's just not noticeable. Well, guess what? Much faster. And you say, what are they digging? Oh, they're digging, all right. Oh yeah, oh yeah, amazing. The white Pikmin have under a treasure that's completely buried underground. Perhaps these beady red eyes of theirs allow them to see unsafe objects buried in dirt. Basically, they have eyes that can see through anything in this in that show. So yeah, will that be the case? Go ahead and use them up to your advantage. Why do I have one red Pikmin with me? I don't even know. Okay. So there you go. So that's pretty much if you want to know about, about them. These reds have been left behind, and a white, so... There you go, if you want to know. We got the super stick textile <laughs> is gamma tape. I guess gamma tape. Okay, let's keep going. Let's see if we can finish this one. Maybe we can actually. That'd be really cool if we can. White flower garden once again. Oh boy! Because now we have the poison aspect once again. All right, so have the whites out indefinitely. Okay, so the white Pikmin are gonna come with us because they are the ones that can release poison. So the whites, we're gonna get rid of the poison here. 
All the Mars can take care of the whites while we still take care of the rest. So. Use them to your advantage. Take the whites. noise they make. There's actually a poison toadstool. It's actually just a, you know, toadstool. It's a mushroom. So the reds and purples are going to come with Louie. Oh, nee. oh, nee. oh, nee. oh, nee. oh nee. Alright, so there you go. That is... Letter treasure. 30 pokos. Toxic toadstool. Because you know it's a poisonous toadstool. So there's more treasures, obviously. So we're gonna have the whites come over here. All right, whites, come on. Stop tripping! Get rid of that. Okay, so that's that poison out of the way. You see, that's chapstick. Ooh, baby, some good old chapstick. Ooh, some good old chapstick. <laughs> You gotta love some good old fucking chapstick. You know what I mean? Yeah, let's get this chapstick. Here we go. Only the reds can make it. So I'm gonna take the reds. There we go. So. Maybe. Let's go up with the speed process. Whites actually take treasure much, much faster, and they run much faster than than other types. So, yeah, the whites are much faster. Even even when they're leaf form, they're pretty fast. Comparison to other Pikmin. But they're also much lighter. There we go. So we got chapstick. A survival ointment. <laughs> Alright, let's go to the next floor. My nose is still kind of stuffy though, I don't know why, because allergies kill you inside sometimes. Final floor! Said level 5. Alright, so let me go ahead and get myself prepared. I have a bad feeling about this. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and get myself prepped. Let's go ahead and. Oh boy, I think I have a bad feeling about this. I really do. I know exactly what this boss is! No! <laughs> oh no! Okay. You know what? Purples, your time to shine. Take the purples. I think I might actually take the whites. You know what the whites also have? If you sacrifice the whites to, to any enemy that, that eats Pikmin, they, it act, they'll actually damage them. No, seriously, you can actually sacrifice the whites and you can do that. It actually works. <laughs> you just sacrifice them and that works. Like, no, like, no, no seriously, it actually works. So I reckon, since I have only a few whites, why is there white among the reds? I don't even know. Okay, that's, that's, that's kind of, I guess the whites wants to, wants to um, erase discrimination. <laughs> okay, that, that was a weird joke I made. All right, okay, let's just go ahead and go. Okay, okay. there we go, that will be better. All right, so we're gonna take the reds and the purples, both red and purples, cause, you know, good feeling. Oh boy, I know exactly what enemy this is and I'm scared. I am actually genuinely scared. I knew it! I freaking knew it! <laughs> Boring freaking Snargret! In, in the first game, these enemies take forever to defeat, but thankfully they got they got nerfed, thankfully. So I just say that. I just say that they got nerfed, to say the least. That's the good thing about it. So purples definitely become really good, really useful here. Because they they can actually stun them. So definitely use the purples to your advantage. Seriously, use the purples to your advantage while you're here. Use the purples. So basically, just use the purples. That's all you gotta do. Use the purples. Fucking boring, fucking snarger. <gasps> I swear. 
fucking god. You get the fuck! Plus, they have less HP, so that's really good about them. That's really, really good. Hey, at least, you know, comparison. Your fucking game! When it took ages. God, these guys took ages. You remember my struggle in, the, in my Pikmin 1 Let's Play? It took me ages to defeat them. Look, seriously, it took me forever, and I'm not even gonna lie. It took me forever, man. It hurt. So, yeah. We have another upgrade item. Really useless, though, but if you want to. Well done, Captain Olimar. You have defeated the freakish half-bird, half-serpent hybrid. Oh, no, don't tell me. That treasure was injective and a beast, wasn't it? It was, indeed. Oh, God, I hate Barry Snuggers so much. <laughs> Barry Snuggers are, are definitely my worst enemy. And basically, now you have just have his head. Just his head, you know what I mean? So yeah, I see this. Well, these spiders actually give nectar. So if you get rid of them, they actually give you a quick ton of nectar. No, seriously. Look at this. They give you so much fucking nectar. They're really good. They get a lot of nectar, though. So, we have the... We have, um, okay, so basically, this new item. Check it out. Alright. Carry that for me. Thank you very much. I'd appreciate the help, though. Purple switch to do one. Alright. I just wait until they're done. There we go. We got a brand new item. It's basically just a glove. Funny enough, I actually found a glove while walking home. It, it, I actually found a pair of gloves while walking home. It's kind of weird. It's literally just found a gardening glove while walking home. It was really weird. I don't know why I found it. It was like literally in the middle of the road. I don't know why I found it. it Five man knapsack. This material looks comfortable. I will use it to patch the boss's favorite sleeping bag. Same test, conclusive, cross stitching successful. Then knapsack is complete. Sounds like nuts suck. <laughs> when you don't have it, quick by time interval, press and hold C. Snap. So basically, if you have nothing to do, just basically this is what you can do. Go ahead and do this. And you know what the Pikmin can do? They can actually carry you. I'm not even kidding. They can actually carry you. Like, look at this, look at this, look at this. The Pikmin can actually carry you back to base! <laughs> and this is what happens. No, seriously, this is what happens. Just, 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 just wait. They will have to carry you back. Oh my god, it's just so stupid. It's really useless, but I think what it does, it actually heals your health, I think. I feel like there's nothing much. <laughs> yeah, if you, if you want to do that, you, go. you can actually do it in the onion and it actually costs fireworks. Like, no, seriously, it actually costs fireworks. I'll shut that off in another, in another time, but still. I'll shut that off another time. It's really funny, though. Honestly, it's really funny. <laughs> there you go, baby! That is... The white flower garden. Nice. All treasures. Alien billboard. The survival ointment though. Okay, awakening. We're back here. So I think we did pretty good actually. Pretty much sunset. So we did pretty good though overall. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna get rid of the red. Sorry, so red's gonna go back. He's red so. Leave me. I don't know if we can do this, but we'll try. Okay, let's actually try something. All right, so here's what we're gonna do. Oh yeah, see the power scroll. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. Let's see if we can actually go ahead and maybe break down the wall, the poison wall. There's two poison walls actually, but let's try and see if we can. That'd be actually pretty cool. Yeah, no. So. about this I don't know if 
it's gonna work, honestly. I don't think it will, because we don't have enough whites for this. We'll try, though. I don't think it will, but we will try at least. So anyway, you see that the reds are back in base. Oh, and you know what there is? There's the blue onion. Okay, so we're gonna get to the blue onion actually later. Because we need to break down the wall. Can't do this yet, we don't have enough, uh... It's gonna take a while, actually. There's, there's the other part. I don't think that'll work, though, but... You know, we could've tried, but it's not gonna work either way, so... I guess we'll save that for another day. We'll save that wall for another day. S same with the other, um wall as well and the blue pikmin so the blue pikmin can actually get them but they're the last type of pikmin can ever get so usually they're the last types half of the time do you see that there's an area here there's another cavern as well over there we can't reach it yet we need yellows as well so we can't reach it yet so there we go that is we completed like Two caverns today, which is awesome. So we got a whole bunch of treasure today. Look at all that fucking treasure we got. Damn, we got a whole bunch of treasure. That's awesome. Basically, no Pikmin died. So far, I've only lost three. <laughs> Too bad. <laughs> a few accidental times, really, just forget about this. How's your progress, Olimar? Remember, you'll never get anything done if you get back and watch from afar. Press left or right of the close up view of the action, baby. <laughs> okay, so that's day three. Alright, so I think I'm the episode here because it's our game pretty long. So anyway, hope you guys read please like, comment, subscribe. And next time, we're going to go ahead and keep on continuing in the Awakening Wood. And until until we can, until we can get certain treasures and stuff like that, and we, maybe we can get new types of Pikmin. See you guys then.